Hello everyone, my name is Amanda, and today we'll be going over the study room FAQs. You may have seen these rooms around the edge of the library and wondered how to go about using them. So first things first, check out basics. Um, be a student or staff. Only currently enrolled students or staff may check out a study room. If your account is blocked because of fines or for any other reason, you can't check out a room. The person checking out the room needs to have a WCC student ID or a valid photo ID at the time of checkout and have more than one person. Study rooms are available only for groups of two or more, and at least two people need to be present and visible to the library staff at the time of checkout. So checkout times. Study rooms are available for a two-hour checkout with no renewals. The late fee for a study room key is 50 cents an hour. Reservations. First come, first serve. Uh, if your group would like to request a specific room in advance, inform the circulation staff. We need at least 24 hours notice for reservations. Uh, you can give us a call or email us if you can't be here in person. Uh, any rooms that are not reserved will be checked out to student or staff groups on a first-come, first-served basis. If there are no study rooms available when you arrive, please be patient and keep an eye out for someone returning a room key. Room Basics uh, all the study rooms have whiteboards. We provide markers, just ask at checkout, power outlets, and Wi-Fi access. A few of our rooms have presentation equipment, including TVs and DVD players. None of the rooms have computers, so be sure to remember to bring your own laptop. Most of the rooms uh, can fit up to six people comfortably. If your group is larger than that, you um, should reserve the larger room that we have in advance to make sure it's available. So, study room rules. No food. We're serious. No food or drink in the study rooms. Um, at least two people need to be in the room at all times, and the person who checked out the room must remain in the room. Obviously, bathroom breaks are acceptable, but like you can't leave to go to the student center. You can't leave to go to the writing center. You have to actually like stay in the room. Um, the room also needs to be completely vacated upon return of the key, so that means, like, no one's still in there packing up their stuff. You've basically left the room the way you found it. And we can check it out immediately upon return. Um, we reserve the right to remove groups or reassign rooms to uh, assure the maximum and appropriate use of space. So, like, if your group of two is in a room that can fit ten and a group of ten comes in, we might bump you over to a smaller room if it's available. Uh, no vandalism. I mean, come on, guys, we're all adults here. Don't draw on things that aren't yours. If you do, it's a $50 cleaning fee. And students, staff, and faculty assume responsibility for all losses or damages incurred while utilizing the study room, and any personal belongings left unattended will be turned over to campus security. So, thanks! Um, and again, if you have any questions, please contact us at 734-973-3429 or circdesk at wccnet.edu.